And just looking at these, it feels like I got scammed into buying crappy strawberries from Costco that they couldn't unload any other way. Welcome back to That's Rank, your home for food news and reviews. My name is Chris and I am not a pineapple. Now granted, today's topic is also not a pineapple, but they certainly think that they are, and I'm talking about these strawberries. I had never heard of these before until a couple of months ago, and apparently now they're all the rage from moms who shop at Costco. These are known as hula berries or pine berries, and from what I understand, Costco sells them in planters too, so you can grow them in your own garden. And depending on how this taste test goes, I might actually have to take them up on that this spring. But for now, I'm gonna have to settle on this clamshell for a taste test, and this currently retails for $6 at Costco. So I'm not gonna lie, this color has me more than just a little bit weirded out because it looks like an unripe strawberry. And just looking at these, it feels like I got scammed into buying crappy strawberries from Costco that they couldn't unload any other way. I understand that would be a really poor business decision on the part of Costco, but it's just a matter of convincing my brain that what my eyes are seeing right now aren't what my brain thinks that it is. I've got decades of programming that tell me that white strawberries aren't really ready for consumption, so I'm just gonna need a moment to descramble my internal coding. So while I work through my own mental issues with these, let's talk about the health benefits that come from this. It's not gonna deliver any health benefits that you would get from a pineapple, because despite tasting like one, it's actually got zero relation to the pineapple family at all. It is, however, chock full of vitamins A and C, so that's good for your skin. It helps boost your immunity against uh, whatever you're trying to be immune from, I guess. It's also good for your blood's iron and oxygen count, which is a positive thing, I'm told. Okay, I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to look past the weirdness of the color. So I'm gonna go wash these and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, I've got these all scrubbed up. Just gonna de-stemify them. I know I might be being weird right now. You could just bite the bottoms off, but uh, I wanna be able to pop the whole thing in one shot. Don't judge me. Cause this is a no judgment zone. We don't judge each other, we just judge everybody else. Okay, so we're cleaned up, we're de-stemified, and the only thing left to do is to find out if this is just one elaborate marketing scam. That's really interesting. I don't know, maybe it was just that one. I'll try a second one. Hmm. I don't think that pineapple is the right word for these. I get where people who describe them as pineapple are getting the idea that it tastes like pineapple because they're super juicy. They're quite sweet and it's got a little bit of tart in it all normal things that you would expect within a pineapple but it still has like a vague strawberriness to it like in terms of flavor i'm not just talking about the shape of the thing i can still taste strawberry this is super unique i really am enjoying this one thing that i really like about this is that it's not obnoxiously sweet the way a pineapple can be once it's had time to really ripen get warm you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like an underripe pineapple that's still stiff, super bitter. I'm a little bit more, I'm somebody who enjoys that kind of pineapple just a little bit more. Not crazy, so maybe in between where it's partially sweet, partially still bitter and got some sourness to it. That is really super cool because just at a glance, you'd never be able to sell these on shelves. But to find out, that you've got a really tasty new breed of fruit that's lying under here, that's super cool. I gotta say, we live in a really interesting time right now where cross-breeding of plants is all the rage. Over the course of my lifetime, like I've probably seen 10 new varieties of pepper become the hottest pepper in the world just by playing with their DNA. I'm not somebody who's against playing the science role unless we recreate Jurassic Park, in which case that's probably a step too far. If you think COVID has kept us under lockdown, just wait until we gotta run from pterodactyls. So guys, here's where I wanna know. If you have ever tried this strawberry before, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
I'm telling you now, if I can get my hands on a plant this spring, it's definitely gonna have a spot in my garden alongside my usual array of peppers and tomatoes and all the standard stuff that I grow. Thanks as always for liking this video and subscribing to my channel as it does help me out as I continue to grow. And I'm gonna catch you on the next one again tomorrow. Ciao for now, guys.